Morning everyone, Ray from Hike A Lot. Hey, here with you today to do a quick bag review on the Cadillac of Comfort, at least for the bags that I own. Today we're going to talk about the Gregory Baltoro 65. Let's jump in. Picked this thing up about two years ago and was moving out of an Osprey bag and just kind of wanted something a little bit different. Um, I do like the Ospreys, but I had not owned a, owned a Gregory bag, so this was kind of the first one I picked up. And it just so happened that when I was in, in REI, they had, had my size, so I walked out with it. Uh, kind of walk you guys through the features here and talk about the pros and cons. Took it out on a few trips and then kind of also figured out there I did have some complaints over it. Uh, some of the features that I thought were going to be awesome. Um, and one of the reasons I bought it ended up being one of my biggest complaints. Uh, we'll okay guys, now that we've got it turned over, you can see the suspension system from the back. And that's that's been one of the things that's been the most surprising about this bag for me is just how comfortable it is. And that was one of the main reasons I had actually decided to purchase the bag. When you start looking at the, at the uh, hip straps and, and the shoulder straps, it's all just super thick, super comfortable. Uh, it's held up really well. I haven't carried a ton of weight in it. Probably the most I've carried is about 30 pounds. It does carry that weight well. Um, had zero issues with like hot spots on my shoulders or on my hips. Suspension wise, it, it held up really well. It fits really snugly to my back. I am one that my back gets hot. And I did notice that I felt like I had less airflow back here than I did on some of my other bags. Um, um, I've got a, an Osprey bag that's got a little more airflow to it. Buying this and one, I've also picked up the Gregory Focal, and it has a, a, a mesh weave that sits a little further away from your back that does breathe better back here. So I did have issues with it sweating back here. But one of the biggest reasons I picked it up was, was for the comfort, and the other being the storage and organization piece of it, because I really thought that that's what I wanted. Uh, and it's definitely storage heavy. But before we move to that, just kind of give you some scale here. So uh, in my hand, you guys can see the webbing. It's all really durable, really sturdy. These, these hip belts are just super, super comfortable. Nice big thick straps on there. All the buckling and the zippers, everything is held up. Really okay, so we'll start at the top and work our way down. Uh, so right up here in the brain, snap it loose a little bit. And the brain is detachable. It's just a couple clips in the back to take that off. Uh, what you got though, what you have though, you have a big zipper down the left side that is segmented from the zipper down the right side. So there's actually a, an insert liner in the middle that keeps the two compartments separate. So it's not just one big bucket for the brain because you can't reach, can't reach all the way through in there. So it does keep it segmented out. And like I said, that was the organization piece of this bag was really what kind of attracted me to it. I wasn't sure I wanted just a big bucket bag where everything went into one big pouch and you had to sort through it. That's the top of the brain. Underneath the brain, when you turn it over, it's turning the brain over. Uh, this is underneath there is where they actually store the uh, the rain cover for it. It does come with a rain cover. So you got one big, you got one big huge po pocket underneath here, and then the rain cover. I've I've actually never used that rain on cover. The outside. After you've unbuckled here on the very front, got this huge big stretch pouch, which is usually where I store my like my butt pad and my if I take uh, like water shoes or camp shoes I usually throw those in there so just some stuff up front or maybe just my puffy goes up there raincoat kind of depends on the weather uh, but very ample very stretchy pad up here uh, all right so moving from this big stretchy front pouch over to the actual bottle pouches you'll notice on the left side uh, it's a big deep pouch that you can put a lot of stuff way down in this just a sort of traditional cut pouch on it so it goes straight up and down but on the other side it's actually canted about 45 degrees it's still a decent sized pouch it's not as deep as the other one but it's turned to make the bottle easier to reach back in and grab um, admittedly this piece with the canted bottle holder i could never get comfortable with i always felt like i was going to lose the bottle out of it and that piece of it kind of surprised me 
I ended up not carrying water in here because I always thought I was going to drop it. More often than not, I would put my hygiene bag in here because um, I could I could zip it closed then at the top because it does have a drawstring at the top, and uh, I could zip it closed. And I know I wasn't going to lose that. Hip pouches. You have one on either side. Uh, the one on the left side is uh, which they're both really good sized. The one on the left side is a is a mesh weave. So if you have stuff that's going to be damp and need to keep it dry, uh, that works really well. But then moving over to the other side, this is the weatherproof one that is actually more sealed. And actually, this is uh, weather shield on there. So this is should be a waterproof container, and it's definitely thick and rubberized inside there. Now these pouches are all detachable, so that you can move these and place them wherever on the bag you want in order to be able to reach them yourself. They all just Velcro off and you can slot them backwards and forwards. So not, not a ton of real estate to move them around, but they are adjustable. Now down across the bottom, this I do definitely appreciate this. Uh, you've got the quick detach clips, so if you're gonna hang something beneath here, like a lot of times I'll hang my shelter beneath here after it's been, if it's been damp outside, um, so that I'm not wetting everything else inside my bag, or hang a tarp down here, or even just a chair if you take a chair along with you. All this stuff on the bottom works really well, and it just quick clips back up inside. Uh, you do have, rings on both corners for you know ice axes or trekking poles or whatever else you want to hang in these they just attach up the side but then you do also have the bottom entry point for if you put your sleeping bag and stuff in the very bottom not all of my bags have that there's my bag liner inside there uh, and there is a there is a floor that attaches inside there that keeps whatever is above here separated theoretically from whatever's in the bottom so I usually shove my sleeping bag down here, keep it closed up. Now to get inside the bag, you got your quick clip up here. Big ample pull string, which I do like on the Gregory's. You got their sort of normal locking mechanism. So pull that out, bag opens up. What is hanging right inside here is actually a detachable day pack. Let me see if I can pull that out for you real fast clips in with these little toggles you just push out now we have a little day pack uh, it's a has a zipper across here but the bulk of it is just a uh, bulk of it is just an open bag and it does have a setup in here for you to move the the uh, bladder out of the main bag and into here which actually for the main bag you store the bladder inside here and then thread it through and then that way when you pull this out you've got the bladder with you so if you... I did find these straps to be really kind of small to try to use uh, but it's a day pack all right so other than that you'll notice a few other zippers on here there's one that runs left to right up here at the very top that goes into the bag got one that goes top to bottom on the left it's clearly not in the main bag but it's into the to a side pocket and then you also have one on the other side that goes top to bottom again these much like the brain are divided by a liner and this is where I ran into the complaints I quickly figured out that I actually have so many areas for storage between the three compartments in the brain an outer compartment here an outer compartment here pouches pouches bag side holders bag side holders and just multiple avenues to get inside the, the bag what i found out pretty quickly was i was forgetting where i was putting stuff um, and kept having to run back and and rifle through the bag to actually figure out where i had placed something if you can get a system down where you know exactly where you put everything every time it's not that big of a deal um, actually here's the uh, here's the tiles for your poles up at the top so you just track these through hooks down here come up through the side I think we covered all the pockets now aside from having entirely too much organization which is not Gregory's fault um, it, I, it was the epitome of be careful what you ask for because I got exactly what I was looking for I got a ton of organization um, too much so for my own needs which that's my fault uh, but at the same time I figured out pretty fast that all this comfort and all these organizational pouches and pockets they add up fast uh, I was moving from 
a Osprey bag into this. Let's weigh it real fast here. So I moved from an Osprey bag into this at about 5.6 pounds. Okay guys, so none of those real drawbacks are, are huge deal breakers for me. Like I said, I do still use the bag. Um, it ended up with too much organization, which is not Gregory's fault, it's my own. Uh, I bought what I, in my head I thought I needed and it just didn't mesh as well with my style of backpacking as I thought it would, but then also uh, the weight and the weight really was driven by the organization and then the excess padding and stuff for the comfort. Um, the whole scheme of things, it's a, it's a really good bag. Like I said, it's the Cadillac bag. If I wanna go and hike and be sort of lazy and not put up a ton of miles, but just wanna be comfortable, it's hard to beat. Um, if I'm doing a ton of miles or, or you know a lot more miles, I'll probably take something a little bit lighter. Um, that bag does, it gives me some options that my other bags don't give me. Okay guys, hopefully you found that beneficial and I answered a few questions that maybe you, you had over this bag and whether or not it's right for you. Uh, it's, it's a bag that I've enjoyed. Uh, I do still take it out from time to time. It does have its place in, in the cadre of bags that I have. Uh, is it the one I take all the time? Absolutely not. Uh, but having said that, I'll throw a link down to in the description for the bag if you guys want to go out there and check it out and, and just uh, kind of peep around and look at it. Um, and as always, if you're out on the trail right now checking this out, just remember, left foot, right foot, repeat. We'll see you out there soon.